Today's Thursday Thought focuses on the first wheel of personal leadership, embrace responsibility. I use the front wheel of my bike as a metaphor for embrace responsibility. But just like the front wheel of our bike brings us from where we have been to where we are going, so too are each of us responsible for the path we have taken to get to this place and where we are going to go in the future. There are two components to embrace responsibility. First is recognizing and accepting that we are here in this place because we've chosen to be here. It is the cumulative byproduct of all of our actions, choices, and decisions that have brought us to this point in our lives. We are alone are responsible for the outcomes in our past and our present. Yes, we have all experienced many life-changing, life-altering events, many of which occurred independent of what we would have done, desired, or chosen. And despite those events, and the force of their influence on our lives, it's not the actions that defined our path. What defined our path is how we responded to those events and the choices that we made in relationship to them. You are here today because you chose to be here. The second piece of Embrace Responsibility is that if you are not happy with where you are, just like the front wheel of this bike, you have the power to choose a new path or take a new direction. If you do not change it, you accept responsibility for that choice as well. You are responsible for the actions, choices, and decisions that define your life's direction. And while other people can and do influence your choices, only you are responsible for the decisions you make or where you take your life. The direction of your life is ultimately up to you. When you embrace responsibility, you acknowledge your ability to define influence and control the outcomes of your life and you are completely responsible for the actions necessary to make it happen. Embrace responsibility reminds me that others can and do influence and interrupt my progress or my direction but they cannot stop me unless I allow them to. Embrace responsibility provides me clarity and relationship to my son's addictive choices as well. I recognize and know that he may do things in his life that have the potential to interrupt mine. And through Embrace Responsibility, I now realize his addiction can only interrupt me if I allow it to. I cannot control, define, or prevent the choices that he makes, but I do have control over how I live and celebrate my life and know that his choices cannot and will not alter the course that I have defined for my life. That is what Embrace Responsibility is all about. There you have it. The first wheel in personal leadership. Embrace responsibility. Next week, we will focus on the second wheel, which is live with passion. Until then, have a great week.